Hello again, everybody, and welcome to another Haller for an Hour. This video is a bit weird. We're going to be checking out Index, Entertaining, Entertaining Digitize Expo. This is the... Uh, the guys who made this basically are trying to get this thing off the ground that is basically a virtual space for an expo to for gaming expo events basically it's kind of a good idea i mean post covid here like uh that's kind of a good idea for the sake of social distancing but also kind of just a good idea for people to be able to attend expos so i see what they're doing they want it to be they're they're thinking high they're thinking lofty they want you know they want they want fucking big companies, Bethesda, EA, etc., to get involved in this. Like, and it's not a bad idea. So basically, it's like a virtual space where we could walk around and we could see booths set up and stuff, and also you play games directly from those booths, which is simple enough. I think it just probably launches the game while we're in. Like, it just launches the game as part of a, a, a separate process, probably. I, I, it's not a bad idea. I'm kind of curious if they could actually get it off the ground, but basically what we're looking at here is a kind of... Pr there's going to be a May event, and we're going to be looking at this, like, pre-any events they're doing. It's I guess it's just open to look at, and there are some things to play, I think. Uh, and apparently, if, if this video... After I make this video, apparently I can also get some tickets and do a giveaway to in, allow people to attend actual events on this thing. That would otherwise require purchase. So I, because obviously buying a ticket for an expo that kind of makes sense. A virtual expo, it's a bit odd, but I suppose it could work. I'm very intrigued by this. I just want to look at it and kind of get an idea of what this is. But in addition to myself, I also have Essler, Epic, and Mala here. Hello. Hello. He exist. Hello. He exists. <laughs> Good. I want, the other two don't exist. They're just simulations. But Epic, as he pointed out, is real. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but yes, so we're gonna check this out. Of course, before we begin, if you like the video, do think about giving a like, and if you have subscribed yet, think about doing that as well. But if you really want to help out, come over to Twitch. We're trying to reach partner over here, as usual. But without your help, it can never happen. So if you want to come by, whether it's to lurk or to talk, think about doing so, because we need more people, and you're more people, and please come by. We'd honestly appreciate your support. Also, consider checking out my discord server if you want to check out a pretty cool community and uh check out my coffee if you want to help directly monetize my content all links are in the description so check them out at your leisure so uh i'm this is the default character let's mess with this a bit um i've already looked at the settings a little bit i could tell this is made in unreal which makes me a little concerned because post-processing can be turned to low but not off so i do believe we may be dealing with motion blur <laughs> Hopefully not for for the mainly for the sake of Essler, but I would suggest Essler to turn the pulse processing down to low to avoid any issues there. Hopefully, but uh, for those unaware, well, hopefully I don't have an issue with that anymore. Hopefully not, or at least less of one. If, for those unaware, Essler has had things like uh, vertigo and what would you fully diagnose it as? Just kind of well, migraines and vertigo. Migraines of vertigo, and it cut. So things like motion blur can really mess him up, even if he's just watching him on a stream. I see I can definitely change my skin color to whatever I want. <laughs> but if I try to go purple, I don't just look like a corpse. <laughs> Good to know. Oh, wait, if I turn up the saturation. Now, you can turn it up, you can do all kinds of things, but you can't make it actually white. <laughs> really? <laughs> no roughness, no hair stubble either. Nope, I'm clean as a baby, or whatever the statement is. What What is that statement? <laughs> Weird statement, I don't know. Move as a baby's backside, I think? Yeah, that, that statement is fucking weird, but it exists. That's a that's an analogy. <laughs> I, I, like, I like how I can change my ear shape, but I can't zoom in to see what the fuck I'm doing to change my ear shape. Can you zoom in? Is there a way? Uh, Go to uh, on the no section, like, that'll give you a... Oh, but, but <laughs> oh my god. Go between yeah. the two that's good. To see that's not the yeah, best it's design. All based on the options, you can't actually zoom in yourself. It's a good thing I don't actually care that much. Oh my. Okay, let's see. Honestly, I just hit uh, random a bunch and then changed a few things. I like how there's a giant female button if I want to switch gender. Just. Okay. Just perpetually at all menus? Alright, interesting. Interesting setup, I gotta say. No, you can do a lot, but I don't know why you can do a lot. I'm not gonna mess with this too much, but it's intriguing, I guess, that there's a lot you could do. I suppose. 
can't even, well, you can, it zooms in for you, but you can't rotate to see what that looks like from multiple angles. A very basic thing when it comes to a, a character creator is being able to turn the camera around and see what things look like that you're editing for different angles. I'm surprised that they don't allow that. Not a good sign, like, it's just a minor thing, but kind of not a good sign leading off, I would say. So, hopefully, hopefully that's not a sign of poor design to come or something. I guess we'll see. I look so fucking weird, especially when I zoom in. This this is a character I don't trust. If I saw this guy in public, I'd be like, oh man, does he do some drugs or something on the side? <laughs> I don't know. I don't trust his face. Oh, or well. if you met him at an expo. Yeah, if I met him at an expo, he would be the, uh, I, I don't know, he would look like a greasy journalist that probably works on sort of a semi-tabloid website and I wouldn't be interested in interacting with him too much. Probably... Uh, <laughs> He's a Neo Average Games journalist. <laughs> Perhaps. I'm not going to mess with this too much, mostly because I don't want to look at this guy <laughs> too much. Uh, but let's see here. Nasal labial. Well, at least I can change the nasal labial fold of the character. Very good. Uh, how oddly specific. How do I just. Maybe they had a, maybe they had a doctor do the bloody character creation. I have no clue. <laughs> maybe. Age? Do I look better if I turn down the age at least? Oh, a little, a little better. A little less creepy looking. <laughs> Muscular? Okay. Wait. Well, of course. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Can we get a hairstyle that's not st Oh my god, some of these hairstyles. Afro Buzz is certainly a hairstyle. I guess. Oh, it's got that it's got that unreal feeling of like no hairstyle matches the character. It looks like it's everything Unreal Engine has a good is really good at like with 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 uh character models or like 3D models of uh humans making every hairstyle look like a toupee. <laughs> That's something I've observed with a lot of uh just a lot of models in general, honestly. Hair always looks tacked on. You know what I mean? All right, well, I guess I'll go with, like, kind of a... No response. <laughs> Nobody knows what I mean. It's fine. It's fine. I'm all alone here. Apparel? Oh, clothing. Let's see. Like, I can definitely see it on this model. It's like not something I've ever paid attention to. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> I can wear... Good, I can wear a dad shirt. Good to know. Oh, yeah, welcome to the clothing options. <laughs> oh, my God, Hawaiian shirts, too. Of course. I'm probably just gonna go with the kind of look I go for in GTA 5, which is basically let's throw on a hoodie. And, yeah. And cargo pants, usually. Not shorts, no. Oh no, Hawaiian shorts! You can really. <laughs> Damn it! And you... At least he's a sandal. With the right body proportions, you can have your body clipping through the hoodie. Good. Yeah. Uh, I had that issue, so I can't wear a hoodie. Are the right body proportions fat? Because I, I imagine yeah. that's probably I'm fat. I don't see I don't see any clipping currently, but I just like oh wait no right there. Like, yeah, you can see it slightly on the on the arm. I see it now. It's fine. Like, if, I just it, have a hole in my hoodie. It's fine. Bad enough. It it's just no. looks like you have big holes in your clothes. <laughs> you can just walk around in socks. I think I might do that. Yeah. Oh, I oh yeah, down. I am. I no, 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 it's, it's actually realistic. See, it's an old hoodie and there's just some holes in it. It's, it's just, it's just immersive. Um, got a few glasses. Model two. You know what? I noticed that in every, like, human custom character creator, there's almost always aviator glasses as an option. But I want to ask you, have you actually ever seen anybody wear aviator glasses ever? Personally, yes. I never have. Oh, you have? Yes, I have. Hmm. Real life? I have saved. In real life, though. Who the hell wears aviator glasses yeah. in real life around you? Uh, well, my grandfather was an aviator. I mean, that's the one time it makes sense, but, like, that's also very niche. <laughs> <laughs> but he I, has one. I, I, fair enough, I guess. But, like, obviously all the people wearing aviator glasses in these character creators are not aviators. They're just like, this is a cool look. And I don't know, it's not as bad as wearing a milady hat, but, you know. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and see how I accept this 
million the millions of uh, invites here. Again. Yeah, I did, didn't I? Okay, so I think we can just fire up by hitting the enter index, so let's see. Yeah, the notification just doesn't go away until you enter the index. I was wondering about that. You are not host, it says. Oh, okay, I gotta wait for whoever... I guess Epic's hosting, then. Good, yes, let's have the European host. Yes. This is. This seems wise. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, we're half and half. I'm already in, oh, and God, I already we, hate it. We spawn in... We spawn in between. Hello. Oh, uh, this is not running the best. I'm the CEO of Purple. It might, might be loading. <laughs> okay, oh, everybody. Oh, like, oh yeah, that that is oh, some aggressive God. motion blur. Where are you uh, guys? I'm, I'm gonna play I'm the settings. You and I don't like it. I'm gonna play yeah. the settings just for quality's sake. Set everything to low, I suggest, and then bump things up if you feel like something looks really bad. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Motion blur. Okay, was post processing low was does post help that. Okay, the lowering the resolution scale makes things look a little bad, but. Definitely runs a lot better now. Well, kind of. I'm gonna up the Can resolution scale off? a little bit. No. There goes the motion blur. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, medium, can... medium. How's that? Is medium fair? Medium's Give fair. A... Medium resolution scale scale is probably gonna save you the most frames. That looking terrible. Give so, a okay, what... to, like, load stuff because I had the same problem. Yeah, it, it's it, it's not it's not. I'm getting like oh. 25 FPS. It's fine. Whatever. Uh, fellow gamer, what you are... Oh, let's see, read the sign. So, welcome to Index. Fellow gamer, what you are about to experience is a demo version of Index Index Expo. Index is a fully digital video game event created by gamers for gamers to make gaming events an accessible reality for the industry and fans all around the world, regardless of their financial budget or geographical proximity. Thank you for downloading Index Entertain Digitize Expo. What follows is just a demo version of what we are preparing for you. Okay. It's in the same place I am because I can't see any of you. No. I don't know where you are. I think you ran ahead or something. I'm on some sort of pier in front of a sign saying fellow gamer, blah, 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 all above me on like a large giant billboard. Hey, uh, somewhere. Well, that that sounds like this place, but you're not here. Yet you have to be here because you're literally hosting. <laughs> yeah. Uh. That's fine, whatever. Let's just look, Walker. Oh, wait, hold on. Immediately, I'm curious about something. No, you can't. Oh, okay. I tried. You can get up to here, wow. and like this particular spot. Oh, there is sound, though. Let me turn that up a bit. There we go. Like dozens of recently published video games and demos, blah, 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 blah. Is that the same location? I mean, maybe there's another pier somewhere else? I don't know. Oh, hold on, wait. Help us make such events a reality in the near future by purchasing a ticket through our website. There aren't those aren't available yet. And start enjoying the following business benefits. Full access to the main event. At least I don't think they are. Create, personalize your avatar, play dozens of recently published video games, and demos of unpublished indie titles from all over the world. No additional cut. Put your could your gaming skills test, challenge your friends into cut and cut the creators of mini games. Apparently. Interact and connect with the worldwide gaming community just like a real life event. Through a party system, we were chats, text based chat. Friends, check their and product of your choice. So, well, it's just a demo. Okay, that's a lot of words um, for, to say all that. Um, so, so here's the thing. Here's the thing we're trying to investigate, right? Oh, go ahead, Epic. What's up? Let's check. Okay, so it's like you're very close on the right, like a puddle on the right there behind you, and behind you a large sign saying "Welcome to e Enix." E Enix. How do you ever say that? Right behind you. Epic. I don't know what's so hard about us saying yes over and over again, but yes. <laughs> So everyone's just invisible then. Great, wonderful. I found the emote button. <laughs> yep, same. I see you have, yes. Um, so here's what we're wanting to really check out, right? So technically speaking, like no if I'm if, if I'm treating this if I'm if I'm treating this whole thing this whole index thing optimistically, this is a pretty cool idea, and definitely a way where one could have all the properties of a normal expo, but basically digitally. But that's not a terrible idea. There's a lot of reasons why that would be a good idea. Here's the thing that I'm critical about, though. Here's the thing I'm concerned about. It does seem like they're hosting an event in May, and that event will actually, like, cost money to join. So they're hopping into this idea, and they're immediately going to start charging for tickets. Now, I don't think charging for tickets is bad, but I am... Here's my... The critical side of me is going, like, well, this sounds like something they could be trying to do to, like, kind of create a half-baked experience and then trick people out of their money. So the question is, 
what is what do we have here in this demo? What is it? What are we seeing in this uh, pre-event version? You know, what what are we seeing? I mean, it looks okay. It looks okay. So I mean, I don't really like how it runs. Oh wait, what the fuck? Hey, if you walk over here, suddenly music happens. It's like you just walk slowly forward. Oh, I know. It actually does fade in. It's very quick. What? So these are all the features? No, there's a whole city to explore. <laughs> Minigames, hidden locations. Oh, these people are talking. Hello. There's a whole city to explore. Minigames, ah. hidden locations, indie game demos, and more. Here's the thing that actually caught my interest why I want to check this out. They seem to have created a complex virtual space. I'm like, oh, I like exploring complex virtual spaces. I'll check it out. Like, yeah, okay. Let me know more. Also, how do you close that? It says close, but I Just my mouse is... Right, I guess. I guess. Also, uh, one thing I love is that. Let's see if I can trigger it again. Her hair went crazy for a second when I looked at her. Oh, I found the chat. Oh, uh, if you press enter to open the chat, then you can use your mouse to hit the close button. Oh my god! <laughs> yes, I knew it. Oh, there is definitely some jank design we're seeing already. Like, <laughs> play doesn't recently recently published video games and demos of publishing details from all of the world, no additional cost. Yeah, the thing is, like, this could be a really cool idea, but if they're going to be charging for an event as soon as May, they also could be just kind of cash grabbing. So it depends on, you know, what's going on here. But let's 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 investigate what we have here and see exactly how much work they put into this, because that will heavily affect my opinion. There's also the fact that, like, virtual spaces are becoming, like, more common very... as of late, like... Yeah. Bloody Wendy's got a bloody virtual space. Didn't know about that. Yeah. I want to check out virtual spaces more. I actually wouldn't be mind doing that with friends more often, like this. And I guess this Wendy's virtual space, now you have my attention. Like, what the hell? I might be interested to see what that's yeah. about. Put your game skills to test, challenge your friends, and content curious of any game. So, there's, so basically, there's the expo set up to be the expo. There's games to play at said expo. And then there's also, like, other things, secrets and minigames. So why are we waiting in line? I don't know. Why are you waiting in line? Because because we are the NPCs, I heard. What's that? Honestly, I have no idea. <laughs> okay. And they call themselves gamers. Lol, lol, lol. I'm a gaming... Well, actually, you know, a gaming journalist not knowing what an NPC is sounds about right, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So I guess we are in our own private server hosted by Epic since he decided to... I mean, it's running fine. I mean, Epic can't see us, but Epic, I will tell you that as far as how it's working for us, everything seems fine. Yeah, Epic, who is apparently not here anywhere. Would it be worth leaving and coming back to try and fix that? Do you want to? I mean, I'll give it a try, see what happens. If we're restarting, though, I would... If Esler's okay of it, Esler, would you mind hosting since that's an American connection at that point, which is probably a little safer? All right. All right. I guess let's all hit escape and leave. That'll probably bring us back. Watch it be some bug where, like, all the host is always invisible. Well, I guess we can find out by doing a second lobby. Yep. I have invited everyone, in theory. I need to remove all these notifications that Epic spammed me with. Hold on. It's like, I have to scroll this, this giant... Don't ever do that, by the way. Just one notification... One invite's enough, yo. <laughs> Alright, I've joined. I Supposedly, I've joined. Except. Uh, I think I have. I think more of my arm is clipping through my hoodie. I don't see anything on the right, though. I don't see a list on the right. I also don't see anything on the right. Try again. I've hit accept a few times, actually. Yeah. I meant Esla try sending it again, I suppose. Alright. Here it comes. I don't think that worked. Okay, well, I guess it was running fine with Epic, so Epic re <laughs> reset, oh, I guess. Uh, go to the top and... The top uh, button to the left of Quick Game and click Exit Private Lobby. Oh, oh okay. I didn't know I was in that. Oh, cool. Right. Yeah, then you can join okay. us. And there we go. Okay, yeah. All right, he's right. Do that too, Epic. Oh, and now yeah, I'm alone. Could someone, could someone send the uh, thing again, please? Yeah. 
One more invite, now that we've done that. That's intuitive. Now That's... we have party members me. That was there we go. That was yeah. very intuitive. Very, very, <laughs> welcome. very clear. But very nice. Thanks. I you have I, to leave I'm... and then leave the party, even though it doesn't tell you that you're in one still. I like how there's actually. I, I notice when it's loading, it says ticket check in progress. So I guess it just won't let you join if you don't have a, a current ticket for the event. Again, I'm not against the idea of charging for a digital ticket to a digital event, but. I'm kind of feeling like right now my current opinion. Okay, well I don't. Okay, see, there's Essler. Assuming um, I, it seems like if I could see them, they could see me because we didn't see Epic and they didn't see us. So, are you guys joining? I'm still in the loading screen. So I'm supposed to have enter in the edict. In fucking can't say word. Join, yes, you have to join. <laughs> <laughs> That is epic. Is the reason you didn't see us because you never joined the game. <laughs> oh, there you are. Hello. Hello. <laughs> nice shades. Thanks. I think I'm stuck on ticket chicken progress. Ticket chicken progress. <laughs> oh, by the way, um, ticket chicken. <laughs> by the way, oh god, I'm gonna be the only normal looking person. By the way, um, there is a sprint key. You have to bind it. Uh, but you might like to know. I don't. I can just do it. Yeah. Well, oh my god. <laughs> Get stuck on this. Alright, so Bala has to restart, I suppose. Yeah, I'm gonna restart the game. I got only four. We might have to kill the lobby to get him back in, I don't know. Possibly. They didn't say like a cap of like three people, did they? And then not just say anything about it? No, it's... Epic, it's it meant to be an expo center event. Why would they cap it to four people? <laughs> <laughs> yes, all those ex... Well, I guess you're right. But still, though, all... Th like, that'd be absurd, though. Because have you ever yeah. gone to a gaming expo that only let four people in? <laughs> like, yeah, maybe it's fun. only, like, three people in a party, though. All right, we, he said we have to restart, so let's try Are it you again. Are you able to invite me from there? No. Oh, right no. Oh. I quit and oh. left. I quit and left my private lobby, waiting for another invite. Okay. Yeah. And I have to click close because I can't just hit any button. Right, there we go. All right. Third time's the charm. That's everyone. Enter. Entering. Loading. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, hi. But there we are. Oh god, I'm inside you. Wait. No baller yet. I'm back on ticket check in progress. You do exist as a party member still. Yeah. For some reason, like I got ticket check in, then it said loading, then it's gone back to check it, ticket check in. Bleh. I like how this animation doesn't loop at all. Yeah. It just ends and then snaps back to the start. <laughs> oh, cool. Wow. Oh, the quality on offer. Like, I don't know, man. If like if you're gonna create something that's really like unique, just sit on that for a little while, Mala. Though you didn't have to do that epic. Granted, you guys are near each other. I think but... it might have been like location, but like epic slayer with you, fine. I don't know. But I loaded fine despite. Again, I've I had me and Esther had yeah, no I, issues, so. I don't distance. know. So. I'm just gonna wait. Okay. We could try really fast doing it what, a third time. With Esther. Eh, fine. Or. Uh, Actually, no. Let's leave. Here. It's not actually, it doesn't actually take that long as long as we coordinate. Leave. Leave private lobby. How about this? Esler, try one more time. Oh, one second. Gotta restart the game because I've got to hold my four out. Alright. That's fine. We'll wait. If it doesn't work for him a third time with Esler, I would like to try a second time of Epic. I'm just ex I'm just testing I'm these really glitches. Listen, it's a fucking expo event where people are supposed to meet up. It's probably good to test this shit. It's probably good to test the fucking. People. It's probably good to test. Listen, 
if it had a problem for it people, needs to be journalist proof. Yeah, if it, mm -hmm. it yeah. set another invite for him. Is it even possible to make something journalist proof? Here's the thing, though, Epic. Like, if you're like, it should. If you're thinking this is proving that it should only be limited to three Andrew. people, if if you're thinking this is only limited to three people, one, it lets four people exist in a party. Two, it wouldn't really. If it does limit to three people, then why is it that it would allow you yeah, to maybe. host and make a room for three people, but not appear? But then, in a different situation, just doesn't let one person of uh, the four load. Like that's two different situations in which only three people were able to play. Which is bizarre. Be besides, like that's not that's not a that's not a that's not to me a party limit cap. That is a glitch <laughs> because it in two different ways. Okay, I'm just waiting for you guys. Yeah, I'm in. There you are. Hey, everyone's alive. Hey, there we go. The only okay. one not purple. Okay. <laughs> The uh, purple excuse realm. Excuse you, I am pink. I am the CEO of purple. All right, let's see what this is all about. The, they said there's secrets. That gets that gets my attention because I do like virtual spaces that have secrets. Also, I like how it took us a half hour to start. Good work. Good work. <laughs> yeah. well, my timer went off and I had to stand up. I'm just gonna run on over here. So there does seem to be, like, there's a building here, there's a yacht there. There is a whole city. They say we can explore the city. Actually, wait, hold on. Before we go to the building, you notice how there's there's stuff behind the building we came from. Was that door usable, the one we were next, standing next to? I have to check uh, it. Cut did down. anybody check? I don't think a single one of us did. I was more concerned about the camera going weird. This running animation. Get there first. I love. It. There is a lot of qual. It does kind of feel like they threw stuff together on real. Like this map seems to have a lot of effort put into it. Like it does look pretty good, but like the character, like how the I'm phasing through my hoodie and stuff. Okay, let's actually look. Is there is there a no, settings no. controls? Here we go. Uh, listen See, to the controls. Spacebar. The buttons. Sp sprint isn't bound, but it but shift works with it all the same. He's right. It isn't bound, but it works. <laughs> wow. I don't know. I, I bind guess I'll them. bound. It, unbinds. I, I, it was unbound, but left shift still let me sprint. So, uh, yeah. jump, jump, left shift for sprinting and jumping. Uh, Spacebar, Wacid. Interact is E, so E is indeed what we need to use to try to like use something. Uh, and Q to emote. Okay. Okay, so yeah, it's just, it's a very simple control list, so if this door was usable, interact would be the trick, I suppose. Um, maybe we can access that side of things later. So apparently they're saying, like, you can explore the whole city or something. I don't know. I mean, it looks big from this side. There does seem to be used cool. unique architecture in the distance, and those are fully rendered buildings, who knows. Um... Literally a default on a real running animation, says Priscillian. Actually, Priscillian, feel free to comment, as you are indeed... You've developed an Unreal, haven't you? So, yeah, feel free to comment. So we can enter the building here. Scan QR code. What does that do, you think? I wonder. With your support, we... Well, here's the, here's the QR code if anybody wants to see what the hell that Let's does find on their out. phone. With your support, we can make Index an event for everyone. Endless possibilities await us with more gamers, indie, and AAA developers participating in an event like you've never seen before. The stay tuned for giveaways and future updates. Scan this code with your mobile phone and help us bring the worldwide gaming community together. I'm gonna guess it just sends you to their site, but I don't know. I cannot walk under this sign, despite yep. that being, yeah. It's just their website. Well, actually, a lot of people consider the QR codes to be very convenient. I don't consider them very convenient because my phone doesn't even do that. Oh, here's another. Put your advert yeah. here. Content us for more information. Scan here. So you can also. So they also are trying to sell advertising space. So you cannot walk under the sign despite there being a good amount of headspace to do so. What sign? This one. A good amount of. Oh, that one. The other side you can. But also, yeah, that is a weird thing that I'm, I'm I, before I go inside I want to check around Can the side you dance through it what's, what's going on with this tree oh I see <laughs> not much 
You won't add hands. Yes, you can, in fact, dance in the wall. Oh, God, there's a sideways dude who's partially in the floor that I can interact with. Where the fuck are you? Now on the other side. Okay, let me just get my wimpy ass sprint over here. Well, this is this is the journalist. Um, this is the about this is about the level of uh, athletic quality of a journalist. So I suppose the sprint works. Uh, they have a quest. Wait, what? Oh, it's an old please. guy partially through the floor who has a quest. He has quest. Is please get me out of this oh. ground, dear God? Era four hundred four interaction yeah. not found. Just kidding though. Bugs will be bugs. So if you fight, we would appreciate if you report them to the next team. Do they do? Bugged out. Oh, that's the that's the joke. They are like, haha, the NPC reference. Haha, fourth wall. They do definitely think they got a sense of humor, don't they? <laughs> I think that's how I'll word it. Also, I love the, I love the high resolution like flooring right here. Right, like it looks pretty good. Uh, you guys are over there. Like, I love the high resolution. Like, look at the ground here. Look at the quality of the ground. Just how high res it is. It is actually pretty high res. But then, Why if you just you know, so look at high risk ground, then then go over here and just look at this rock for a second. Oh, oh. <laughs> just yeah. Mm -hmm. That yeah. That's a rock. Listen, I don't care if it's high res or low res, but it really looks bad if you mix the two together. Look at the shiny surfaces from inside here. It looks weird. Inside this building? Oh, it's using a... It's definitely using a... What do they call those? Uh, reflection map, right? Where it's like just a static map of something, and that's what you see. Yeah. Or is it actually dynamic? I think it's a, I think it's just... No, that's definitely just a reflection map, I think. Well, here's yeah. how I know. If I stay on this side, I still see the index. Oh, no, actually? It might actually be logistically reflecting what it's facing, actually. Either that or they really thought it through a little bit. I can't tell which. It's, uh, it's fine, I suppose. What's this panel do? Nothing? Okay. I assume it comes just down there. the elevator. This is an elevator? Presumably it would it if work. it works. It might not work. Oh my god, okay, yeah, you're right. The reflections indoors are definitely fucked, though. How does this yeah. work? Ah, totally. uh, yes, I am in a slightly uh, circularly curved version of the world looking at the pier somehow with this reflection. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, with like it like has Super Mario Galaxy curvature going on here. Let's this go here. looks like what you should be seeing at the top of the elevator. I guess we're. Point. Are we sure we can't? There is something up. It looks like some sort of parkour mini game thing. How do we get up there? I don't think it's working. Hmm. I guess we can't interact with this unless it's... they lied about what the interact button is. I mean, we could interact so... with the dude though. Yeah. So Alright, well, anyways, let's check out the actual building then. Let's enter the space station. Wait, 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 wait for uh, the Esther. He's slow. He's a sheep, after all. They're poofy, not fast. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> slow sheep. What the hell is this guy wearing? Oh, okay. He's I think he must be the master. He's a gamer. Hey fellow gamer, welcome to the Index Expo. My name is Andy, and I'm the mascot here at an Index. Uh, and an NPC. <laughs> Want to know more about my story? You'll see your dramatic backstory. No. As an NPC, I live in the digital world, so despite being a hardcore gamer myself, I never had the chance to visit an actual physical game convention. I felt like I was missing a lot, and maybe you felt the same way because of the pandemic. And, I say... And I knew that not all gamers can attend major video game expeditions taking place in other countries or even continents. Believe me, living in the digital world, I've experienced that firsthand. So... So I kept begging the developers work on Index Ex Expo, forcing them to allow me to work more closely with them to deliver a video game, unique video game expedition experience to you and the other 158,192 gamers. The Dow of the demo, if I count them correctly. That's it? <laughs> so far? I mean, it's not a bad number, but... What now? Game on! Now go and enjoy the world we have created for you. If you want, you can purchase a ticket afterwards and or share your experience to support the team. Money will be invested in major collaborations, vegan giveaways, and exclusive titles. I would have paid for that, but I'm just an NPC after all. I don't have the concept of money except for crypto. Ha ha ha! The last part was added by me. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> disclaimer. Disclaimer, I decided to make it more cringy. 
The people around here look a bit funny. Yeah, Indy told me we look this way because we are placeholder NPCs. Apparently the devs are fixing it soon. We won't exist soon, Cindy. We must enjoy the little life we have. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Soon everyone will become grape. What's this button do? Still normal. Okay, they're not letting me go through here, but I bet I can go through here all the same. Just give me a second. Well, if I didn't have the world's wimpiest jump, perhaps. So it seems to be like another elevator, probably to a second floor or a basement or something. That again, we can't use anything on the computers. Oh, they're the, they're using those weird screen. Oh wait, I can use it. Wait, what? Oh, I can interact with him across the table, but it doesn't work. Interesting. Where'd you guys well, go? That seems fucked here as well. Oh, you guys went up. Uh, I'm here. Yeah. No one is wearing masks? Oh god, what is this saying? No <laughs> one is wearing masks? I heard that COVID-19 has no power here! What is it, the <laughs> fucking- What is- <laughs> Wait, 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 wait! Wait, shush! COVID-19- What? He had, he did not hurt. He no, had. I don't even- not oh, even, I'm not even I'm worried- dead. Not even worried about that part. I've heard that COVID-19 has no power here. What is COVID-19? The Antichrist now? Fucking Satan be gone? Like, what the fuck? Okay. May as well be, but you know. <laughs> Fucking. Yeah, he had the COVID-19. I think my joke's better, but okay. <laughs> Spirit of the Samurai. Don't give COVID-19 head, okay, everyone? Thank you. Um... So every booth is a totally different experience of a game inside? Yep, and there are three floors to discover more than 15 games. Also, I didn't capitalize and. Okay, cool. Three floors then. So yeah, they do already have some companies on board, which I'm guessing we're going to see here. I love how the frame rate dips when I look at them. So there's an upstairs. Yeah, so I, know, I guess right? we'll, let's start by uh, checking out. Let's see how this works then. How, does, how do they make the games so liberated? All right. Working and that's a uh, blue door. <laughs> oh, okay. But yeah, these are uh, the Spirit of the Samurai. These are the games that some developers have on. They don't have any large developers yet, but they ha do have some. They do have some people on board. What does that even say? In in Ra and Capia Capia. So the shore. That's what we have access to. All right. Yep. Okay, so actually I do like this presentation. You know what it reminds me of? Like you enter a booth and then it's like, oh, look at the environment set up like the... Yeah, this is nice. I do like that. It reminds me of the pack... It reminds me of the Namco Museum games, especially the PS1 ones, where instead of just playing a game, instead of just playing a game collection, you walked around a museum and then you entered the game's room and there was a whole aesthetic designed about the game. I really like that. I actually kind of dig that experience. I like that presentation. It's fun. It's enjoyable. So let's see. Uh, oh, the shore. Again, Wait, I'm sorry. Walk, walk closer and it says the shore. From, from Aries Dragonis. From, from. <laughs> from, from soft? <laughs> uh, the shore is a first person story driven game of atmospheric environment narrations. You'll encounter mysterious creatures and unravel the secrets behind them. Struggle elements of horror struggle to survive in a known world that'll make you question your. Si own sanity. That was a weird sentence. Also, holy shit, that is loud. Yep. I love it. I'm gonna look hit. At, look at the feel angle stop, don't worry. That's not... I mean, fair enough. Expos are loud sometimes. That's a cool monster. Okay, let's play the demo. How's this work? Yeah. Press E to enter. I press E. Hold on. Uh. <laughs> My initial reaction would be, maybe it just doesn't oh. work. Oh no, we're opening okay. multiple copies of the game, yeah. aren't we? Every time uh, we yeah, hit that E. That opened a whole new window. Oh, okay, so I haven't opened anything, but I'm wondering if it's opening shit in the background. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. This is worth checking. It might stealthily just open windows when you hit E, which is terrible design if they do it that way, but let me check. Oh yeah, it's opened a window that's not loaded. Yeah. Yet. I don't see anything, but I don't know if I should be seeing anything. Hold on. Uh, I pressed E and I got a window. Yeah. What's I it called? Oh, Bootstrap oh, Package Game? Is that is a Bootstrap Package Game uh, by chance? It's the uh, Shore. 
I okay, just old tabbed and I now have a window for the shore open. I don't see shit. <laughs> uh, yeah. I did see a bootstrap process. Numb. I killed a bootstrap process because I was thinking that was maybe me overlaunching the game, but I don't think that was it, actually. I don't see anything. Uh, try again. I'll try okay. doing it again. I'm a little scared to stack applications on top of each other, I'll be honest, now I think about it. Uh, this... I'll press it multiple times, but I only got one window, so... Okay, let me... Does it will it open? Does it open it? A, does it do something to the? Does it do something to index? To like make it minimize or otherwise go into a uh, little, no? It just, no, it just launched the thing. Wait, are you serious? Yeah. So they didn't even design the back end to like, they didn't even design the back end of index to be like going into a low performance mode or something so that your game can run the game you just launched runs well. So it just. And because index is a bit intensive itself, so I would expect it to go into a low intensity. I can mode. just tab back in and well, look, I'm, I'm moving around now. Okay, yep. so basically, they designed a complex expo center environment that is a bit heavy on the CPU. Like literally, I have 100% CPU usage here. There, we've just index and the GPU usage too. So index is an intensive program. I wasn't concerned about that because I figured if they were smart that they would have some way of like basically putting index the index application to like a sleep mode or more or less leaving you connected with your friends but basically zeroing out most process load so that you can play the game you just launched but it looks like they're not doing that according to you guys i can't even launch the game but i'm honestly wondering if i should <laughs> even bother doing so because i think that might create problems i think i managed to do it but i had to look at the ceiling for some reason <laughs> yeah, like, if this was, like, properly, fully launched, everyone would be standing in front of that space with on a different window playing the demo, which could probably lag more because there will be more people in the same spot. Let me explain very simply. To be fair, mm -hmm. they at least opened the menu in the game. I... <laughs> I guess. Uh, here's the thing, though. Index is taking up a two gigabytes of memory. If you want to be running, if you want to be offering previews via Index, Index needs to lower its fucking memory load. Like, absolutely. Not to mention, CPU load is 40% for me. And I have a pretty good computer now. So, honestly, all that all that load... Oh, yeah. Wow. I just noticed it's entirely... Huh. It seems like Index only uses CPU, not GPU. That's weird. Like, for the most part, I mean... Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know if I want to run these games, especially while streaming as well. I could try, I suppose. I'll try if once. One of us could share screen the game. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, you laugh! Just, just stream somebody else's screen share of a demo. <laughs> you laugh, but that actually might be more sane for the setup, for, my, for the fact yeah. I'm streaming and stuff. Actually, I was just like... That's not really that hilarious, actually. It sounds the most logical. <laughs> uh, I guess I could. If somebody wants to demonstrate, if somebody wants to demonstrate how it opens uh, and stuff, I could. I could just quickly grab a screen grab of Discord. That would be a far less intensive. And I don't even. I can't even seem to open the game. I keep trying, and it doesn't seem to be doing anything. So I open the game, and I close, and I regret doing that. Damn it! You're very closing it. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. Has anybody else here managed to launch the game? Uh, I have it open. Yeah, I have it loaded. Oh, as by well. the way, this room also is super bad on my computer because you want to. Does anybody want to yeah. guess why that room is bad on the computer? Loud and water. Uh, no, it's, volume does not make a computer run harder. <laughs> it's the fucking because Unreal Engine plus filling a room with fog particle effects equals fuck your computer. Fuck your computer <laughs> hard. True. <laughs> open again. Like, Unreal Engine never handles particle effects well. Maybe it that's is... why it starts lagging when you look in its direction from outside. It's also why looking up is b a bit better, too, I think. Yeah. And, yeah, if you don't... So, yeah, that... that I don't know why they decided... Like, I get it, atmospheric and all, but there's better ways to do it than just dumping a ton of particles in a room. There is much more artful ways of adding uh, sort of, you know, that sort of atmosphere. <laughs> Especially through Unreal. Uh, this is a lot of hoops for basically a demo hub. Yeah, it's pretty limited, as far as I can tell. Like, we can't go up some elevators, we can't go into most of the rooms, we can't 
uh, go to the oh, city. Oh, I was kicked for inactivity. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Are you serious? So, wait. They oh. expect you... Wait, also, yep. you're you're still in the party members list. So, wait. They expect you to stand around idling in the game. Oh, okay. Yep, n now I'm just back at the pier. Well, I guess that solves the overcrowding issue. Yeah? <laughs> what do you mean, the overcrowding issue? <laughs> Uh, if there's, like, tons of people all sitting in the demo room. Well, don't worry, because they'll get kicked out of the game for playing the demo. <laughs> so, it sounds like more they get re Like, did you get, complete did you get completely kicked out? Because it sounds like you just got reloaded. Yeah, like, I'm back at the pier. I had to, like, load back in. Well, let's see if he's still in the well, that's dumb. I okay, so... Really, seriously, though, if you're going to run a virtual gaming expo where people are supposed to launch game demos of current games, current-gen games that are going to be intensive themselves, like your virtual program, your virtual program needs to shut the fuck up and stop taking so much memory. It needs to go into a low-energy low, low, low state where it just keeps your server connection. That's basically it, you know? So that when you're done with the game and you close the game, see, it needs to, like... You, actually, I know exactly a perfect example. You guys remember when I played that haunted PS1 demo disc collection? And it was a bunch of little indie games put together with a hub world as well. And when I walked to the hub world and interacted with the game, the hub world, it, it like, it actually did go into a low power state or like actually like transition to the game. If uh, Yeah, it, it went to a, like a low power state and then opened the game application. Then when the game application was closed, it returned to that game. It like was smart about it. And that was just some indie thing. That was just some indie compilation thing. Uh, this is meant to be something that's more professional, this this index thing. But they can't handle... And they could use it even more, because... Like, this is way more intensive than that Haunted PS1 demo disc ever was. But the indie that indie crowd did a much better job with this kind of concept of hub world and you open games through it than this is currently doing. This is a very poor showing compared to that. Um... Because the Haunted PS1 demo just showed how you could do that right, where you're playing a game that's a hub world and then it launches other games. And it all ran fine! We enjoyed the Haunted PS1 demo this. I played, a, I did a full playthrough, 100% playthrough of every demo. Uh, and every every game, so it was, it was a fun, a fun time. It worked well. Uh, but this isn't. <laughs> this isn't doing that. So, um, does anybody want to... So, has anybody able to launch the shore except for Epic that one time? Oh, I, can yeah, I still have it open. Alright, so who wants to do a screen share real fast so I can just show... So it so I guess I, you don't have to show the whole demo. I just want to kind of see how it ran or how how it launched, I suppose. So who who could screen share to me? This Unreal is generally heavy on computers anyway. So if you want to do this, Unreal is probably the worst engine for it. Yeah, well I can tell you the haunted PS one. I can tell you the haunted PS one demo disc didn't do it. Epic did. Okay, I'll do it. So we just straight up. It's so it's just. This. The continue used to be start. Wait, wait. I have oh, an. I, have... I have an important question, Epic. Right off the bat, does the sound from the fucking shore room and index still play? Like, is that trailer still playing? It's no, sound? It... sound is gone when you alt tab. Yeah. Okay. That's just also... an, an active window thing. But so here's yeah. Epic. Here's Epic. So he didn't actually make the game run, and this is what's popped up for him. Uh, I'll just put it right there for now. About a game kick to appear is not a good thing. Because it's gonna be for every game. Everyone's getting. Oh yeah! And every yeah. single time you have to run all the way back. It's to a the bit demo of a walk. Mode. It's a bit of a walk and too. And that's where you spawn in. So everyone will be there because they're getting <laughs> kicked to that. So that will be the laggiest place. And also, I agree with Priscillian, who said that Unreal is probably the worst engine for optimization or like load. So like, if you want to do a hub game that launches other games and want everything to actually run right and not kill people's computers, Unreal is probably not the game, is probably not the thing to run the hub in. It, it really isn't. I would honestly see this working better with Godot. Go, Go I'm, I'm not sure how to say that exactly, but Godot's a really solid engine that I think you could probably do this in um, much better. But I, I am watching casually your, your short sure thing. Godot, I believe. Godot? I'm never sure. But uh, yeah, it looks probably. so you can... So I'm it's assuming the, it's the same pronunciation as the the play. Now I could we could watch Epic play this whole thing. Let's just see it. Let's just see you launch it to make sure it functions. I guess to know that the game is something you can play a demo of. Uh, I take a poke at it early. I managed to get it to run. Um, that's why this is now continue rather than start. They have ah. two new game options for some reason. So it's but. competently launching. I have to wonder though, actually, what 
Thank you, thank you for the screenshot. That's all I needed, actually. I just wanted to show that it does indeed load the game. But I'm actually wondering to myself if... <laughs> hold on, hold on. I gotta check this out. Um, I think if we go to the folder where you install the game, or install index, which I think I put it here, and demos the shore. Yeah, you could just run it from there. You don't need to yeah. load the. Uh, you don't need that would if you want to check out the shore demo. The best way to do so is to just launch it from the folder in the index demo section, not run nope. index, and that's a problem when you think about it. That's a problem. Index this 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 place this hub should be a space where it makes it enjoyable, easy, and more preferable to check them out in this hub area. But no, it'd be better to run for the folder. Then you have your whole computer dedicated to that rather than running the computer intensive index. Anyways, I'm going to go check up the next floor uh, if you guys want to join. Yeah, so I basically would uh, bypass all ticket checks if you can just launch it from the folder. Yeah, that's another thing. Like, if the main point of a, an expo is to check out the game demos uh, for a gaming expo... I got kicked then... for an activity again. Good work. <laughs> Oh my god, look out this window for a second here, Beerus. Or Epic. Or both. No. Look at this, look no, no, at the, no. I love the uh, random terraforming they're doing. Like, just they're just using that one, uh, god, look at the holes in that terrain. Uh, look at the, oh my goodness, yeah, it's a uh, train tool. Honestly, they're not, it's not like, visually speaking, their hub isn't bad. Uh, they built a decent building, so what's this? Giveaway. That was the end of our demo, including an exclusive demo of the indie game The Shore, and a sneak peek of some of the great experiences we were preparing for you. Thanks for spraying the word. Sneak peek? You barely showed me anything, technically. Go to our website under the code indie to claim one of the 500 free tickets for our first event. I, I'm honestly kind of in, intrigued to just keep this around and check out their May event. Because here's the thing, by checking out this demo, this was a free demo, as you noticed. You're probably wondering why did I accept a free demo key, because I don't generally do Haller for an hour on free games. Um, it's because they were offering me and a ticket, as well as a giveaway for my viewers to basically get tickets, like, to, to access their first proper event, rather than having to pay for them. So I was technically mm -hmm. like... I guess that's technically compensation if this is interesting. So sure, I'll check it out. What was this saying? Hey Andy, you, have, you know when they had, this event takes place? I have no idea. The Triassic, the Indies behind you. What the hell's going on? These Indies just keep waving. What? The fuck are they? He's cloned himself. He's like Agent Smith now. Um, I expect all those free five hundred free tickets to be used up already. But I'm, but here's the thing. I, I well, let me pull it up, actually. Yeah. Nice. Well, you're right, but here's the thing. Um, <laughs> I was given my own tickets, is what I'm trying to say. Ah. As a content creator covering the game, they were going to give me my own tickets. Let's see. Do I have it now? I can't remember. Uh, yeah, 20 tickets that are on my own uh, for... Nice. Let me see how this works. Now, I don't, I don't have a lot of faith in this, but I am curious to see how their actual first of... Can, like, here's the thing. If the, their first public event, if it's bad, it'll be an entertaining shit show, probably, you know? To be perfectly <laughs> honest with you. Um, I just expect it to be deserted. Here you guys go. Check this out if you're interested. Actually, I'll give you guys on... I'll give you guys first dibs. I suggest picking up a ticket before I throw this at... Not that it's okay. going to... It's only 20 tickets, so I, I think you guys should grab one before I give this link to everyone else. Technically, it's a giveaway, though, so I can't really... It's a forced giveaway. I can't just choose who I give keys to. Uh, so, well, I have one key specifically for myself, but... I'll share this with everyone here, too, if you're interested. Uh, honestly, I don't expect 20 people in my audience to be interested <laughs> enough to... But yeah, if you do that, you'll enter the giveaway, and if you're one of the 20 people... That get a ticket. Like you, in my 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 logic is I don't think twenty people are going to check this out in my community. So I'm just going to post this link to those interested in the chat and to the, those of you, you guys. I suggest trying to grab a ticket if you want to see a shit show because it probably will be. And I gotta check it out. I gotta check out what the hell they're doing. So the event is actually in. Um, let me see. When is it? It is. So I think the name Index is a little bit not the best name. 
Yeah, <laughs> dicks. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, it's a little bit I, odd. I think we already got the ticket for the expo. It, it just immediately gave you one? Yeah. Ah. I, I, I mean, it's, it's, it's probably just the 20 button below to grab your ticket for the expo. I guess yeah, it's just I'm first come, first serve. Yeah, just grab it then. I guess it's not. It's less giveaway and more first come, first serve free tickets. Yeah, I just clicked enter giveaway on the email and it all just gave yeah. me already. There, there, there is, there's the key. Cool. Okay. Please what save a... this page or take a screenshot. <laughs> Okay. So the email sent to you with it as well, don't worry. Yep. Uh, well, there you go, I guess. I'm actually going to check something off the side here. This is a curiosity at best, I would say. I, I, I have to oh, that is beautiful. Oh, I actually well, had to register my own giveaway, I just realized. I didn't actually right. get a ticket key just for being a creator. What's beautiful? They have a copy button uh, oh. on the email thing where they give you the key, mm -hmm. uh, and it copies all the metadata too, so you can't actually oh. paste it directly. <laughs> wait, wait, what is it copy? Where, where's this link that it sends you? Uh, give me the email. I hit the button, then it shows me. I'm clicking it again, see if I can get it. There we go. Here's your ticket code, and then it has like the ID, and then it has the key, and there's a button that says copy. And if you click the copy button, it just copies the entire text. That's so odd. you also get ID and key in it. Uh, oh yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. You're right. I see your point. <laughs> well, I have to take. I, I I apparently had to join my own giveaway to get a ticket code because I didn't actually have one. I thought I did, but I didn't. So okay, now I do. Uh, okay, well. <laughs> uh, so that oh, will be oh, for. Oh, I almost got kicked again. Yeah, that happens sometimes. So I'll just leave that m emails unread and check it back later. But basically, as far as I'm aware, uh, 13th to 15th May 2022, Index Expo takes place digitally for the 13th to 15th of May 2022. Get your event tickets below. So, yeah. And if you're wondering, like, what's the price? They're charging five pounds for it. That's not a That's ton. That's your, not pounds. Euros. Sorry, I mixed them up. They're similar symbols to me. It looks like you also have to... It's basically uh, 540. Up billing details as well, despite free code. What's that? Yeah, you have to enter your billing details despite it being a free code, because it's oh. just a discount. That's not ideal. <laughs> so they don't even have a person. Yeah, they have their own personal shop. Does not actually track if. That's yep. lame. And also, why people should have what is that? Privacy.com. Does is that the one that lets you make your own little limited amount credit cards or debit cards? I think that's the site that lets you do that. I actually, might. I'm tempted to sign up for privacy.com because I kind of like that idea. Like, you basically just load actual money onto a card that you make through privacy.com, and then you can use that card and just throw it away afterwards, essentially. So if you are if you want to use it on a site you don't completely trust, they can't drain past what you put on the card. It's like a prepaid card. You, you, there's nothing they can do to try to steal your money after, you know, the amount you're giving them. So privacy.com is not, not, sponsored. not sponsored, but... As far as I'm aware, it's actually a really good idea, and I might actually sign up for that at some point. Because I do like protecting my details like that, and it's a good way of doing that. Because you just get, you know, a unique card number that doesn't have anything to do with your actual bank or PayPal cards or whatever. Yeah, it's probably the best way to handle stuff like this. Um, yeah, I'm probably not going to do it because I don't trust this side of my... Well, you don't have to do the checkout thing, because I gave you a free code, so you don't have to mess with that, but I wouldn't mess with that, personally. No, yeah. the code is a coupon, so it just makes the purchase... Yeah, you still free. have to add it in. Wait. Yes, you still need ticket to code. Wait, the ticket code... Wait, no, I have... Didn't we all get a ticket code? Yes, that, that like... code is just a discount yeah, and it's to make just the coupon a... free. Yeah. Oh, that's bullshit it's as hell. Coupon. Yeah. I thought that code would just let you enter the event. Like, you just enter the code on yeah, the Yeah, no, the game. it just makes the purchase cost nothing. But Are you serious? Hold on a second. Into your billing stuff. Yeah, makes the bank account feel real safe. Wow, you're right. 
That's amazing. This this seems like a scam, actually. Now. Fuck yeah. that. Like, okay, hey, you can have, here's a free key or whatever, but you just have to go with the, our our cart. You have to buy the ticket. You have to enter the code. You know, just enter your account details. You know, enter your credit card details, even though it's now zero pounds or zero euros or zero whatever. Uh, still, though, you have to, you know, just you have to enter your fucking card or something. All the same. Uh, it's zero, but you still have to provide the financial information. Like, yeah, something's a little off here. Let's see what that. I'm going to keep an eye on them, though. Uh, you know what? Actually, I have a direct line to them, so I could just straight up say, like, I'm not interested in entering my credit card information. Just give me a damn key. <laughs> Let's see if they let me in if I do that. I'll try that out. Because, uh, <laughs> like, yeah. Though it also does say I have special access and I have a number and I don't know what this... I'll figure it out when the event's running. Or send them a message if it doesn't work, I guess. I'm I'm intrigued to, to check out what the hell happens and how many people they actually get for this, but yeah, something seems off here. You were kicked for inactivity. That's fine. It seemed like you were done anyways. There was barely anything to see there too. Yeah, this seems dodgy. I it might be completely legitimate on the up and up. Uh, even so, but it's it's poorly designed. Even if so, like I don't know, man. This is uh, again, good idea, poor execution, which. Honestly, I hate I hate that it ended up that way because I hate being I almost feel like I'm like somehow prejudiced against Unreal Engine. Whenever I notice something's an Unreal Engine game, I start going like, "Oh, I bet the developers were kind of lazy with this game if they're using Unreal Engine." That's how I feel sometimes. And there's honestly some really good Unreal Engine games, but a lot of times I get this vibe of like, "This might not be good because it's using Unreal." And then I'm right a lot of times. And it's clear the developers were just kind of using it as a powerful front end without actually putting that much work in. And I will give them credit. The Expo environment is simple, but it does look pretty good. It's got a good, clean visual detail. There's a few issues with the environment. But overall, I do like what they designed, what they modeled. It doesn't feel like they just stole. Hopefully not. Anyways, it doesn't seem like an asset flip. Seems like it was content made for their purpose. Uh... But yeah, it it doesn't it this this definitely is kind of a shit show off right off the bat, and we barely had any content here. The shore looks like an interesting game, perhaps. I'm not gonna blame that developer for being part of this, but index itself, yeah. What's up? Yeah, it's, this just seems like an alpha at best from playing it. And yet, despite being an alpha, we're less than we're basically less than half a month away from their first actual paid expo event. Yeah. So, cool. What, when did this demo come out exactly? This demo has, well, look at the HIO page. That gives you the best time timeline. I can't really tell from the, uh, let's see, what was the H link? I don't remember. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, that was released at... Looks like it's been around for like a month. Yeah, mm. about a month. At least for the latest version. And didn't they think there were secrets around here? Don't see any. Yeah, I imagine that's probably in the proper city that you're not able to see because it's a demo. Oh. See, oh. the guy I'm stuck in the ground. <laughs> uh, comments in the HIO basically include can't start which might just be somebody not knowing impossible to log in the greening uh simply doesn't work try it countless times always a fatal error a lot of people say it doesn't work wow this is studying exceptional idea amazing environment i loved it i mean the environment's fine there's nothing wrong with the environment and uh, to be fair the net code seems solid we were existing in the same place without any issues after the initial problem of getting everybody to load the world uh, yeah, once that was accomplished, the netcode was issues. stable. We did have issues, absolutely. We had connect. We had initial connection issues. If those initial connection issues went through, though, it did actually seem stable after that. But yeah. Oh, oh, oh! That's interesting. Apparently, they also did a Kickstarter campaign. Well, so apparently, this was. Oh no! Okay, three hundred forty-two days ago, apparently somebody checked out a demo of this. So apparently, the original original versions of this on itch.io were actually about a year old. 
And apparently a year ago, they also did a little shilling to the person who commented this. They said, please consider following us on social media. Soon we'll be launching our Kickstarter campaign with lots of in-expo in -expo perks for backers. So a year ago, they were also doing a Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. So hold on a minute. Let me do a little more research. Did, yeah, that, really did they take money from people in a Kickstarter, produce this of all things, and then also start charging for tickets? Like, I... Okay, let's see here. See how deep the rabbit hole goes. When I hear Kickstarter, I hear cash grab, so... I yeah. can't seem to find well, anything on Kickstarter involving well, that. someone installed this from Itch. Who installed this from Itch again? I did. This was apparently put on Itch 25 days ago, so I am... The latest Ooh. version, yes. Which probably... I don't know. It's getting a little, getting a little odd, I have to say. I think the latest version of this is version 9, which was done 15 days ago. And that was the booths only version about the games. Which basically means just one game. Also, for some reason, Kickstarter is low. Why is Kickstarter loading in. Hold on. How do you change languages in Kickstarter? Because apparently, I'm loading it in, from what I could tell, Italian. And I don't know why. Uh, how do you change the language? Okay, hold on. Let me get it, maybe. Faster. Huh? It's in Italian because you ate some pasta. Mate, I don't think that's how it works, but... <laughs> <laughs> sure it does. This is an awkward... Somebody go to Kickstarter and just search for Index. I'm curious if it, you know, shows anything. To change language, go to the bottom of each page, click on current language. Oh, that's where it is. Okay. <laughs> it's like trying to figure out how to make this site legible so I can search for what I want to search for. All right, let's see. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's Italian. Why the hell is it in Italian? Oh, yes, Italian, but also list things in CAD. You know, for those Italians that use Canadian U.S. Do uh, Canadian dollars or whatever. Like, <laughs> Canadian U.S. dollars. Canadian, you know, at this point, it may as well be that confusing with what I was already saying. Uh, index, though. Let's see. I can't find a project with no. index on No, the close, oh. there's just an unrelated Found search of so, I guess they were going to launch a Kickstarter and didn't? Either that or it's just completely deleted off the face of the earth after a year. For one reason or another. I'm intrigued. But I can't research this much further as it stands. And we do have other things to check out, technically. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know. This is this seems... this seems Like, it's not 100% bad. But it is, like, 90% bad. <laughs> There's, like, 10% of, like, oh yeah, the world design could work here. But, like, the rest of it... Mm. No. No, I'm going to close this before it melts my computer now. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, thanks for joining me all the same. Uh, I really wish I would see an Unreal Engine game and I wouldn't go, Oh boy, I bet the developers were poorly optimized this or were otherwise lazy in developing this game they made for Unreal Engine. Or this, in this case, this platform. Um, but unfortunately, that seems to be the case a lot of times. Shame that. Unreal Engine is becoming my least favorite fucking engine. Very easily. Uh, but yeah, that was Index. I, do you guys expect this to go anywhere? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe if they get fucking lucky and fix a ton of shit, but... I don't, I don't think so. I, I think Hopefully this, is this build die. is from like a year ago and they've progressed it a, a lot since and just haven't released it. I found the earliest tweet on their Twitter, which was from October 5th, 2020. Then what's this year ago shit? Mm. Well, it's not... So what was was the tweet interesting? <laughs> uh, well, it had an image of what appears to be the, like, the outside of the building. Yeah. And does it look different? So they've had that since October 5th, 2020, at least. I, so it looks the same, basically? Yep. I, so it's like, immediately recognizable as the place we were just from. So, the pier looks a little different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For Sally, like, I can summary. still see like the elevator right there. There's the entrance. Oh. I can see like the different buildings. That rock. <laughs> uh, the floor was different. So they've improved that. Mm. All right. 
Well, in any case, that is where I'm going to end the video before it gets too boring. This is, I again, I'm going to try to check out the Bay of it because this idea of like, oh, maybe this is just an old version. Well, their May of it should make that very obvious. So I'm going to try to bully them into giving me a proper access without going through a stupid payment process. Yeah. Because I kind of deserve that as a creator that they were trying to give a free key to in the first place. But yeah, I'll see if I can get access and uh, check that out maybe on a stream if it if I find it interesting enough to do so. Not guaranteed that. But uh, in any case, that was Index. Uh, it's kind of dicks right now, I'll be honest. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, thanks for joining me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs>